What does the science say about building these real relationships? Yeah, you definitely want to learn to be efficient with your time when you hear those numbers. So this is uh, Jeffrey Hall, 2018, again, Journal of Social and Personal Relationships. Uh, the title of that study is very aptly, how many hours does it take to make a friend? Very much to the point. And the authors were looking at how many hours it typically takes to form different levels of friendship. So from very loose to very close. And what they found was, get your pen and paper ready, dear, dear listener, um, it generally takes about 50 hours of time spent together to move, not from I met you to you're my best buddy, but it takes 50 hours to move from a mere acquaintance to casual friends, 50 hours. It takes roughly 90 hours of time spent together to go from casual friend to good friend. And if you're already breaking out a sweat, um, it takes more than 200 hours to go from good friend to very close friend, to that confident, to that best friend. Now, I'm loosely throwing out numbers here, but the researchers were very clear on the fact that the type of activity was a major role in how quickly that friendship formed. Simply spending time together, sitting next to each other on the bus or sitting next to each other uh, watching YouTube or TikTok videos doesn't count. This needs to be quality time. This needs to be quality activity of things that both of you enjoy and you can support each other in. And intimate and deep conversations and, and those shared routines or, or group settings, as in the, the golf example with, with Mark, um, can also very much accelerate a friendship development. But it does take a lot of time. When we're an adult and we have our lives set up and our career is going and maybe we have a family, we're going to do everything that we can to protect those things. So... I can't just open the doors to my life and bring in anyone who is interested in coming into my life because their actions could harm my career. Those actions could harm my family. When you're 21, it's easy to make friends. In fact, you can find your best friend forever around the corner. And it's like, hey, I want to get messed up tonight. Do you want to get messed up? Hey, that sounds great. Awesome. We're getting messed up together. We are new best friends. But that's when you're young. You don't have any momentum in your life. You're still floundering. So as we become these adults, we are very concerned and, and, and discerning about who it is that is going to be coming in and who we are going to spend that time with and invest in to build these relationships. And it's not only the, this could harm my network, this could be a bad influence. This is, there's also opportunity cost. Think about 200 hours. That, that, that's a long time over a couple of weeks, months, if not years. Now you're meeting someone who's like, nah, it's kind of okay. It's a friend of convenience. Do you really want to use that time to spend uh, investing in this friendship when there, when, when that is time taken away from fostering really meaningful friendships with those that share your values, share your beliefs that are trustworthy, that are warm, that have that sense of humor. Will you invest it there? Because you only have that much time in the year next to your education, your family, your hobbies, your health, your sleep, your work. Uh, th there's very little time left. And that is the uh, being efficient with your time and with your approach that AJ mentioned earlier. We also need to be a little bit picky on who gets that uh, attention and time from us.